Hey, welcome to another Windows 8 official channel video. And um, today we will actually have a little video explaining how to uh, change the notifications of the tiles on your Windows 8 screen. Now, as you can see, uh, the tiles are kind of live tiles where you see things changing all of the time. And it's nice, but sometimes there are things you don't want and things that you would like. And every time you add a new app, apps can actually send notifications. Um, an example of that is if you own a uh, iPad, iPhone, or um, iPod Touch, you know that um, you can get what is called push notifications where the apps can actually uh, signal something, an event or something and let you know, for example, if you have a Facebook app notification you can see when somebody posts something on your wall or replies to um, some information or some uh, um, status that you've updated. So uh, in Windows 8 there's uh, the same type of little way of doing things and these are called notifications. The good and the bad, well is the good is the notifications is fun because it lets you know about new things happening on the different apps. The bad is that it's a lot of stuff going on, going on on your computer so the more notifications and the more your computer has to work to actually make those work so with time, it's not impossible that that way of working can actually degrade the performance of your PC computer or your tablet. And also, you know, when you get too many notifications, it can get annoying also because it will pop up stuff almost all the time and it's not always useful and not always fun. So how do you actually access and change the notification settings of your apps? on Windows 8, all you have to do is go into the, of course, the upper or lower right corner of your screen. If you have a touch device, you can swipe from um, right to left and you'll have the charms come up. And there you'll go to settings. We'll go to change PC settings and you'll go into the notification zone. Now, one, there's like a general on-off switch, which is the first one here at the top that lets you show app notifications. If you turn this off, no matter what app, no apps will actually show notifications anymore. And you'll basically have apps that just don't display uh, all of the features that you might want or all of the information. It depends on the apps. Another less drastic way is to choose which app will send notifications to you. So what you can do is leave the app notification on. You can change things like show app notifications on the lock screen or not. Um, play notification sounds, for example, um, one of the ideas of notification sounds is that if you are using, for example, the calendar, the calendar, when an appointment is about to happen, will actually sound an alarm and let you know, hey, there's going to be a new uh, something that, you know, a reminder of uh, one of your uh, little settings that you've put into the calendar. So if you added a feature, hey, I'm going out to lunch at 1 p.m. with a friend, well, 15 minutes before or half an hour before, depending on the settings, there will be a notification sound letting you know, hey, um, you've got something in half an hour, so I uh, hope you know that. So you can uh, play it with a sound or not. So here's the sound settings. And the rest is that it can be of only the apps that you want. So for example, if you don't use a calendar, you can turn that off. And every app that's not really interesting to you, you can turn on or off the notifications that it will send you. 
So the less you have notifications on different tiles and apps, technically the more performance you'll get out of your computer because it doesn't have to check so many things at the same time. So uh, this is one of the little things that if your computer is kind of slow a little bit, you might want to check notifications, turn off um, some of the notifications, or if you don't just don't care about notifications, you can just you know click the general off switch of the notifications here, and that's where you'll have no more notifications. And of course, even if you click this off. What's cool is that if you had personalized the settings of what sends or doesn't send notifications, is that if you decide to turn it back on, those personal settings are still there. It's not a general switch that you'll have to choose again. Uh, so that is cool. It does keep your notification settings that you might have chosen by yourself. So this is a little video showing you on where and how to change your notifications of your different apps in your computer. Keep in mind that the notifications are affecting mostly apps that work in the start menu that are real apps. If you install old software that have icons on your start menu screen uh, they will not show up here with notification tabs because they are not made for such type of use. Uh, most of the time, these notifications will be uh, more available on apps that actually work in the Windows 8 environment itself. So like all the apps that are uh, have different types of tiles on your start screen. So this was how to turn on, off, or personalize your notifications. If you enjoy these videos, click the start, um, click the start, yeah, click the start screen. <laughs> click the subscribe button at the top of the screen, and you'll be informed of all the videos we put online. And if you have any comments, questions, or maybe a request of a feature you'd like to see us reviewing, let us know. We'll try to put one online for you. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, Windows 8 channel with all its uh, little videos explaining different stuff of Windows 8. And uh, if you do, hey, click, uh, click the like button. And it helps us uh, get better ratings on our uh, videos. So I hope you uh, enjoyed these videos. If you do, well, let us know. And I um, hope you come back often to the official Windows 8 channel. So thanks for watching, bye bye.